Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and this is another WordPress Wednesday. You have found a YouTube channel dedicated to all things WordPress and today we're specifically going to be looking at your conversion strategy. I want to share two quick tips that hopefully will help boost the conversion on your website. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, let's define what conversion actually is when it comes to a website. I'm going to use the definition from moz.com, which is a conversion is the general term for a visitor completing a site goal. So it really could be anything, whether it's signing up for an event or watching a video or clicking the call, whatever it is that you're asking them to take an action or maybe to engage with us. So what we're going to do is work on how do we improve that conversion? And again, there might be multiple things that you're trying to track, but for the sake of this tutorial, I want to look at two different conversion optimization techniques that might be able to help you. First thing is, do they know absolutely for certain what they're supposed to do when they land on the page? So if they're coming to a landing page and they're scrolling down and it's beautiful and it's clean and it's easy to read, is your call to action broken out and does it look like a button? Does it stand out on the page? I would even say you can add a little bit of color to this button to really make it stand out and pop on the page even a little bit more. But you really want it to be something that really catches their eye as they start to scroll. You can see these two calls to actions down here at the footer, but that individual visitor is going to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to see these. And that might end up causing them to leave because they lose interest. It's a pretty long page to scroll through. So you want to be certain that your call to action is within that first scene or very shortly thereafter, you've got it very visible, very easy to understand exactly what you're asking them to do. I'll give you a quick example here with askcory.com. You know right away, I've got this button sitting here that I want you to ask Corey. And as soon as you click on that, of course, it takes you down to the section where you can fill out the form and ask me your questions and I'll try to answer it for you, maybe make a video for you. But this button right here looks like a button and it's got that bright pop of orange that really catches your attention. As you start to scroll through the site, you might see that call to action or that CTA repeated. So this is one way that you can improve conversion is to go look at your website today and kind of assess okay, how far down on the page are they having to scroll before they see that call to action? Does that call to action really catch their attention? Does it pop off the page? Or is it kind of muted and maybe even too small in uh, just a font, right? Maybe it's just sitting here as plain text and they don't even realize that it's clickable. So I want you to check on that first as your number one rule for improving your conversion. Second tip I want to look at tonight is simply adding a secondary call to action. Now, normally on a major landing page, especially if you're spending money and driving traffic to that landing page, you probably just want one definitive call to action, one thing that they can do, and it's typically fill out a form or buy a product, right? Very, very simple. Take this action. But one of the things you can do if you're not seeing the highest conversion point that you want throughout your website is maybe offer a little bit of a less committal conversion point. So this is a great landing page example where the major call to action really pops off the page with apply now. We've got it in two different areas right in this hero scene. Apply now. You know, you've got your offerings there. But if applying now is just too much of a lift for the individual, they can maybe schedule a call to speak with someone, right? So we've got two different types of, of ways to engage with us. And when you add a secondary, maybe a little bit less committal or a different way of communicating, you'll start to understand more what your consumer is looking for and what they would like to do in communicating with you. So it's a really great example of how you can offer them a totally different user experience, maybe something a little, maybe something a little less committal. I've also seen an option where you can apply now or maybe request more information. Again, two different versions of a conversion happening one is just a little bit of a less commitment from the individual lead or consumer. And if you need more tips on conversion strategy, I've got a few more videos right here. I'll include this link in the description box below. 
Hey y'all, I hope that helps you. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'll put some links in the description box below. Be sure to like and subscribe because I have an entire channel here dedicated to all things digital marketing. If you're looking for tips on search engine optimization or WordPress specifically, or how to even be a freelancer, I have all sorts of really cool tips and resources here in the channel, over 400 videos totally for free. Have a great one. I'll see y'all next week. Bye everyone. So this is what happens when your seven-year-old decides to do your hair for you. Yeah, he styled me for this video. So I just wanted y'all to see. This is what it could look like if I had a professional doing my hair each time for the videos. Could you do this to my hair? Yes. What do you think about it? Good. Mm-hmm. Or a hot mess. What do you think? <laughs>